I'm Dr. Roger Smith and I'm an upper cervical chiropractor in Huntington Beach, California. Today I wanted to talk to you about recent studies that have come out that have shown that uh, high fructose corn syrup may contain traces of mercury in many products. Um, there are actually reports in the U.S. News and World Report, Web M WebMD, and the Washington Post where they've done studies and they found that products that contain high fructose corn syrup have been found to have traces of mercury. Now, mercury or high fructose corn syrup is actually a popular ingredient. It's replaced sugar in many of the processed foods, such things as uh, jellies and candies, sodas and breads and condiments, things like this all now contain high fructose corn syrup. And actually, mer mercury that they're finding in this high fructose corn syrup is toxic in all of its forms. And they've actually found that uh, the average person consumes about 12 teaspoons of high fructose corn syrup, where the average teenager is consuming about 80% more than the average of the high fructose corn syrup. So given that the high fructose corn syrup is consumed by children, this is actually another source that we may not have looked for in finding out where the uh, mercury may be coming from in children. Now, these tests have shown in 55 different products that they purchased um, and tested them for mercury seven, that contained high fructose corn syrup, 17 of those actually did contain mercury. Now, the 55 products that they bought all had high fructose corn syrup as being the first or second ingredient. That means it was a major component to these products. Now, mercury, mercury exposure is actually harmful to the brain and the heart and the kidneys and the lungs and the immune system. And this is all according to the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. The good news is, though, that there are products that contain mercury-free high fructose corn syrup. It's just... Um, we need a push to the, the food manufacturers to actually start using the, this type of high fructose corn syrup instead of the one that does contain mercury. And we've also already read that high fructose corn syrup is not good. It, it, it lowers the immune system. It actually um, can contribute to diabetes and obesity. So maybe this is another reason why we should start focusing on more natural, healthy foods instead of the highly processed and refined foods that become so popular in our, um, you know, popular current society. So what we're offering in our office is a healthy way to look at your life and maybe change some of those things and help you get your life back, get you out of pain, get the, uh, the things functioning in your life and help having be able to do the things that you want to do in your life. So to get the information you need to live a healthy life, go to my website www.rogersmithdc.com. Your health starts here.